episode of Alexa Explains. Join me as we talk about how these amazing strangler fig trees are pollinated. Everything starts with a flower, right? So it's weird to imagine how a fig tree is pollinated when we never really see their flowers. That's because a fig's flowers have evolved over time to be on the inside of this hollow, fleshy receptacle that we commonly just refer to as a fig. So that means figs have multiple male and female flowers on the inside. So who can access them? Leave it to the fig wasp family. Almost every single species of fig has its own species of fig wasp to pollinate it. And the way it happens is super unique in the animal kingdom. In fact, there are only two organisms we know of that do it. A female fig wasp crawls into a fig through a specialized opening and uses its skinny tube-like ovipositor to deposit eggs inside of those flowers. Then it dies. Next, the male fig wasps hatch out and they impregnate the females before they are even born. More than one individual wasp can lay eggs inside a fig, so sometimes they are impregnating unrelated wasps, but other times they're impregnating their own sisters. And what happens next? They die. Well, sometimes they drill an exit hole out of the fig for their female brethren to crawl out of just before, but die they do. And the females, they're born already pregnant, hatch out of the flower where they were laid and do the most insane thing. We tend to think about pollination as happening not really on purpose, like this hummingbird. It just wants to eat some nectar. And the fact that it gets pollen on its forehead and transfers it to another flower, pollinating it in the process, well, that's just efficient design by the plant. But fig wasps pollinate on purpose. That's right, females will grab pollen and stick it into specialized compartments in their bodies before they leave their natal fig. And pollination is complete when a female enters into another fig where she will lay her eggs and proceeds to take the pollen back out and place it inside of this other fig. Wild, isn't it? This specific type of pollination is called ethnodynamic pollination. And we only know of one other organism in the world that does it, this yucca moth. How did such a specialized behavior come about? We don't know yet, but think about this. One thing that the yucca moth and the fig wasp have in common is that their life cycles depend on successful pollination. A hummingbird doesn't really care whether or not it is effectively pollinating a flower. It just needs nectar to eat and it's done. It is not affected by whether or not a fruit actually develops from its services. But a fig wasp would not have a place to carry out its life cycle if fig fruits did not exist. So they are another level of dependent on pollination being successful, and that makes them another level of insanely cool and complex. 